Hey there, everybody, Pop on Top here. Welcome back to more Fallout 4 mods. In today's mod, we have an armor mod. This is the Rainbow Six Siege Armor Depository. So this is all the armors for all the operators from Rainbow Six Siege. It's located here in Fallon's Basement, which is the department store that most people actually don't even know about in Diamond City. It sells clothing. And the mod is located here in the basement. There's supposed to be some little container. We'll find it, and then we'll go through all the armor together. So, I think it's this new shipment here, right outside the front door. Um, it's advanced lock, so you're going to need advanced lock picking to be able to get in it. Um, but it's not marked as red. So you shouldn't have to be concerned about, like, pissing people off. Got you're not stealing. It. There we go. Um, so, Blackbeard Fast. This is hats. Um, Bandit. <laughs> oh my god, Blackbeard. What is the Black Mirror uniform? Who's that for? Um, I do play some Rainbow Six Siege myself. There's the so it's not every character it looks like here. Um, let's take the IQ helmet. Let's take the Valkyrie stuff, the Twitch stuff. I'm going to put all the ma male stuff on a male character, um, and then the female stuff on a female character. Cab is a female character, um, and then Black Beard, Black Mirror. Who would that? And then there's just the disabled table spoon in here for some reason. Um, so let's take a look at this armor while we're down in here. Um, we will go through all of it one at a time. Like I said, all the female character stuff and then all the male character stuff in a second. Um, so we're going to start here with calves. So we, do we look like calves? We do look like calves. That is very much the boat. All the stuff on the side, all the stickers and stuff. Um, apparently this is Texas straight ported over from Rainbow Six. Um, so it does look very good. I need to like a silence pistol right now and just like sneak it up on some bitch ass motherfuckers with this cab armor. It does look very nice. Um, let's see the Twitch's uniform. Yep, big old bulky GIGN French operator. Um, I don't know what Twitch's helmet is. I, want, I mean, maybe it's one of the generic ones. We'll have to look into that. And then Valkyrie. Yeah, 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 yeah. Valkyrie is so good. Navy SEAL, son. She's a Navy SEAL. She got the desert stuff on here. You do need the CBE body for the female armor versions, or like the female body parts or whatever for it to work. It does look nice though, Valkyrie armor. I like this look a lot. Very military tactical. Modern military stuff. I know it maybe not fit. Um, so this is like a black version of her armor. Yeah. I mean, I, just leave me the default though. Um, and then IQ's helmet. That is IQ's helmet, that's for sure. IQ's a German operator, in case you didn't know. Um, but there you go, you get that helmet in here as well. Um, so let's take a look at the rest of the things. I wanted to see, so Bandit, the Black Mirror uniform, um, two Blackbeards, two Blackbeard things up here. We need a hazmat uniform, mute stuff, uh, white version of mute stuff. We're going to just take one of all these. We're going to try them here on my female character, just to see what they look like. Um, and then we'll try them on a male character if they look like shit, but I just want to check, um, right, just for the sake of being thorough. So Bandit, um, this should look like Bandit, yeah, this is pretty much what Bandit looks like anyway, because Bandit has a very similar helmet to IQ. Um, your female character does end up looking like a man, um, but this is pretty much what it would look like on a male character. There's Bandit, um, he's, you know, German police or whatever, very much looks like a man, um, you know, you lose all female features in terms of curves and stuff. It doesn't look like it's using anything from the CV body. Like, it just deletes all that shit and replaces it with a man stuff. Um, that's okay. So, we don't have to really put it on a man. You can just kind of see what it looks like here. The Black Mirror uniform. Oh, this is Mira. Right? This is Mira? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah, you can tell from the booty. So, this is a female character. Anyway, this is the Mira uniform. Um, she's, uh, what is she? Spanish. Like, Spain, right? Am I wrong? Nah, she's Spain. Please see Yeah, she's Spain. Um, we could probably take off the IQ helmet because IQ's helmet doesn't really go with all this stuff. Um, not that my, my normal stuff on my face goes with it very well either, but that is nice looking. These armors are really nice. This is quite a large foul though because you gotta have these high quality armors and stuff. Okay, so what else you got in here that we have not put on yet? So, the Blackbeard's uniform. Yes. It's very, see how Blackbeard is the other Navy SEAL, so he very much looks like Valkyrie does, except for a big burly man version um, but the armor does look fucking fantastic though I'm just like jealous of it just how good it looks cause like holy shit man that just looks like Blackbeard dude that's just that's what that man looked like and then a, a two version yeah the dark the black version just like we had 
with Valkyrie already went caviar, a hazmat mask, and uniform. Um, so yeah, this is like one of the guy, like the bad guys in like the terrorist ops, the little side missions and stuff you can do. Um, there's like hazmat trooper or whatever. There he is. So this is like generic stuff. Um, so we got mute stuff here. Uh, mute mask and uniform. Oh, doesn't work on a female character. His his helmet doesn't anyway. Um, but his uniform is working. This is mute. Um, he's British. And he hates Fook and laser sights. Um, and this is his armor, and it looks very much exactly like it, right? So there you go. And the mask doesn't work. That's only, it must be with the male characters thing. And then a white version of his uniform? Yeah, I guess it's like a snow ops thing, right? Um, Pre-war SWAT uniform. Oh, this is Ash! This is Ash. I mean, it could be Ash. It could be anybody, though, really. The belt's really not working there. Um, it's not fitted to my waist. This might be the male version of the SWAT armor. I mean, this could technically be... Um, it's really Ash, right, though? Like, the SWAT hat? Yeah, I mean, even with the red hair, it's Ash. This is Ash uniform. You're Ash. It's, it's, uh... And then MB. Uh, that could be who... I mean, that's just Ash with dark hair, right? Because it still comes with the hair. And then a black hat. Um, yeah, a black version of Ash's hair and stuff. That's, that's still Ash. And then a gray version. Because everybody loves Ash, right? You just gotta do Ash so many times. Um, Sledge has a mask. Does that work? It does kind of work. I just clips through my hat. There we go. Sledge mask. Even though, does Sledge have a uniform? We should probably find that. Uh, no, Sledge does not have a mask. Or have a uniform. You can put Sledge's mask on, though. That's interesting. Um, Sledge's uniform, I guess, would pretty much just be like mutes, right? Like... That's pretty close. I mean, obviously, my character's a female, not a, not a dude, but that's pretty much what Sledge would look like, right? It doesn't, his uniform does not vary that much from mutes, so that we could show that off that way. We also have Thatcher's stuff. Um, Thatcher is... Oh, no, Thatcher's the one with Fook and Laser Sights. God damn it, I messed up my references. The belts are all janky as shit, though. The belts really don't fit. Um, on a female character, anyway, obviously. Um, but this is a female character. This is Thatcher, who fucking hates laser sights. I fucked up. And he has a trench helmet. Oh, yeah, okay. So, like, it's from his special skin. I see. And then that's it? Is that all the uniforms? Okay, Valk's my favorite. Like, in discussion, Valkyrie is the best. The belt is all fucking weird, though. Um, even on a female character with a female thing. But it still looks really, really nice. It's cool to have some Rainbow Six Siege in... Fallout 4, even though it doesn't really make that much lore sense, um, it is cool because Rainbow Six Siege is cool and they have really cool character designs. And just being able to have those uniforms or maybe play as one of those characters in Fallout 4 is a cool thing. So that seems like something that you should be into. Make sure to check out the topic in the description. There'll be a link to the Bethesda on that page. You can download this mod for yourselves. If you guys have enjoyed the video, please make sure to leave a like rating down below. If you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe so you can check out more videos from me. And pretty much other than that, you guys have a good rest of your day, or whatever it might be, and I'll see you in the next episode.